What's up guys, Matwai here back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace brake rotors on your BMW. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and also like this video and just like that, let's get right into it. Excuse the shirt, I've already been working on my car. What I wanted to do was replace the brake rotors on one side of the car and then flip over to the other side and record it for you guys. I know in previous videos, I've talked a lot about how my old brake rotors are real rusted and um, they just don't look good. You know, it's an eyesore on my car. So I wanted to replace those and finally get rid of all the rust once and for all. So unfortunately, the brake rotors that I got in the mail uh, for the rear wheels, the um, I guess the diameter of the rotor is a little bit too small for my um, the diameter of the hub. So what I'm going to do is just show you guys how to replace your front brake rotors today. And then maybe later on, I'll make another video on how to replace the back ones. But with that being said, let's head into the garage. All right guys, so we're in the garage and as you can see, we're gonna be replacing this rotor back here with um, this nice slotted and drilled one right here. So first things first, you're gonna wanna jack up your car and remove the tire. All right guys, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is remove this uh, retaining clip right here. And in order to do that, um, I like to take a flathead screwdriver and just kind of pry right there. I'm gonna put a microfiber cloth over it just because I painted my calipers and I don't want to damage any of the paint. So just kind of put it right there, pry it. Well, that came off, <laughs> but usually it comes off a little nicer than that. So once you remove the retaining clip, there's gonna be two bolts back here that you're gonna wanna remove. I'll show you right now. There's one right here, and then one bolt up there at the very top. So one and two at the top, you're gonna wanna remove those bolts. So uh, let me do that right now. I'm gonna start here on the bottom bolt. If you haven't removed these bolts, um, or if you haven't replaced your brake pads or anything like that, you'll find out very soon that they are very tight. Um, so you're gonna have to use a lot of force to get them to come loose. So what I like doing, um, I'm, I'm a smaller guy, so literally, I use this wheel well as back support. And so that way, as I'm cranking down, um, it just gives me a lot more, a lot more force. So, observe. Oh, God damn it. Oh, I think I got it. So there's the bottom one. I'll go ahead and hand, I'll unscrew it the rest of the way with my hand bottom one now for the top one it's going to be a weird angle so i suggest trying to get this one from the top now i'm trying to do this with a deep weld socket just for the simple fact that the bolts were so tough to get off it actually cracked my regular socket i guess so um i'm trying to get with this deep socket this top one is very hard to get with this deep socket just because there's not a lot of room. So uh, I might need to go to the store and buy another one. So yeah, this is not gonna work. It's too long to get to this bolt and there's not a lot of room to work. Um, so what I'm gonna do is head to the store real quick and then continue when I get back. I had to take my other baby to the store because uh, my girlfriend's not here. So uh, I was out of a vehicle. Picking up where we left off. To get this top one, like I said, they are very difficult to get. So what I've been doing, all right. This might seem crazy, but hey, they're tight. And there you go, as you can see, that one's loose now. All right, so once you get the second bolt out, as you just saw, just kind of wiggle the caliper off because um, it will be loose at that point. And you don't want this caliper just hanging from the brake line. So you're going to want to use something to hang it up with. Let me go grab something. Until then, I'm just going to kind of sit on top of here. Hopefully it doesn't fall. All right, so I got these little hangers, um, these brake caliper hangers from Amazon. They're like five bucks. So you guys, uh, I'll leave a link in the description for these as well. But you guys can pick up some of these. If not, um, I've seen people use like uh, coat hangers. Just pretty much anything that can hang or that can hold this caliper because it, um, it is it is pretty heavy 
So once it's out, this one should come out pretty easy, the bottom one. But the one that's in the piston, you're actually gonna have to work out. So before you actually hang it up the caliper, what you're gonna wanna do is separate it. So you're gonna pull this portion of the caliper out. So you just push it like that. And it will come apart. And in most cases, when you do that, this other uh, brake pad will come out. But if not, you're just gonna shimmy it out. So since we are working on the front driver's side wheel, um, it, this caliper does have the brake pad sensor. So what you're gonna do is, let me pick you guys up so you can see. All of these are just kind of held in by little clamps. So you just pull them like that. And then you pull this one up here just like that. This should be in like a little opening on this side that you're just gonna pull it from. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but just like that. And then you can open up this little compartment right here, right there. Pull this one off, and this one. And then you can unclip this brake right here, sensor, excuse me. Um, what you're gonna do is push down on this little tab. I don't know if you can really see, it's kind of dark. You're gonna push, there's a tab you're gonna push down on right here, and then you're gonna pull it off. Just like that, and it should disconnect. So you can take that off, and as you can see, the sensor is connected to the old brake pad. So we're gonna take that off but before we do that. Since you're left with just this caliper right here, this portion of the caliper hanging, you don't want to hang it from the brake line back here. So I'm gonna put this, put it over here, and then just hang it. Just like that. So this brake pad sensor wasn't coming out. Um, I was having trouble pulling it out. So what I did is just took a flathead screwdriver and just very, very gently kind of pried it back like that and it come right out. But be very gentle because it is a sensor and you don't want to damage it. But now that the sensor is off the old brake pad, you can go ahead and toss this. Obviously you're gonna want to hold onto the sensor because you're gonna connect this to your, uh, to your new brake pad. So now that we have the um, caliper disassembled, we're gonna go ahead and clean a few parts. So starting down here, this is the part that we took off of the other portion of the brake caliper. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is get a towel. This is the, the rag that I've been using. That's why it's so dirty. But you're gonna to wanna to put some brake cleaner on here and here. So I'll go ahead and do that and clean it up. Go ahead and wipe that off. And just use a towel or a rag to wipe it off. You don't have to go crazy and get like a a wire brush or anything like that. Now that you're done cleaning off those portions, you're going to clean off the portions where the brake pads are going to sit. So it's going to be this side, this side, in here and here, along with this side, this side, and in here and in here. I don't want to get brake cleaner on my camera. Looks like I already did, to be honest, I will. Just grab a rag. Kind of clean off the areas real well before we reassemble it. All right, so once you are satisfied with this piece, we're gonna move on to the other piece that's hanging. Take it off the hanger. And before we start cleaning anything, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna compress this um, piston right here. So in order to do that, some people just like to push it. It's going a little bit as I'm pushing it, but it kind of hurts my hands um, and there's no point in doing it that way if I have something to help. So what I went ahead and did is, um, what I went ahead and did is bought this C-clamp at O'Reilly's. You can get it from anywhere. Um, this one was like about five, six bucks. So this is just gonna help me compress the piston. So I'm just gonna place it on here. All right, so once you get it on the piston, just gonna slowly tighten it. So there we go, it's flush now. I'm gonna remove the C-clamp. And just like we cleaned the other part of the brake caliper, we're gonna to wanna to clean this one as well. We're gonna to wanna to clean this side now. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is clean this right here, here the surface, this surface, as well as that right there. And then also go ahead and clean, and then 
also go ahead and clean just right around the piston area right here. All right, so now that both parts are nice and clean, we're gonna go ahead and um, loop up some areas. So I just have some brake parts lubricant. I got this off of Amazon as well. I'll go ahead and leave a link for that as well. So pretty much the areas that you're cleaned are the areas that you wanna lube up. So you're gonna wanna lube up right here and here because that's where the brake pad's gonna slide against. So the part that's gonna be touching your rotor, you don't wanna put lubricant on, obviously. So I'm just gonna put lubricant right here, here, on this surface and this surface, and then just a little bit on the piston as well. So let me go ahead and do that right now. Now, mind you, I'm doing all this without gloves, but um, I highly do recommend gloves because one, it'll keep your hands from getting dirty, and two, the brake cleaner, it can be, some people can be very sensitive to the brake cleaner, like your skin. So, um, just, I would recommend using gloves. You don't have to, obviously, but the yeah, choice is yours. So now this portion is lubricated. I'm gonna go ahead and hang it up for later. So for the surfaces, you're gonna be lubricating on this one. It's gonna be the same ones that you clean. So right here, 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 and then on the sides as well. I'll do that right now. And you can just use a little bit. You don't have to go crazy with this stuff. Just enough to make it a little easier for the brake pad to just kind of slide in there once you install it. So now I'm gonna set this to the side. Now that it's ready for the brake pads, I'm actually gonna take off this rotor. So for that, you're going to need a uh, six millimeter Allen key, and I have an attachment so I can put it into a drill. It's a lot easier that way. And as you can see, that one came off instantly. Now they aren't all like that. Like I had previously mentioned, I was working on the other side before I started recording this video. Um, and that one, I actually had to work. It would not come off, it was actually kind of seized um, since it had been on so long. So I just grabbed a rubber mallet and kind of hit it all along the back until it came off. Um, not too crazy, but just enough force to get it off. So once you remove this, you can set that to the side, obviously, you're not gonna use that anymore. And then if you would like, you can go ahead and clean up this area right here. Um, on my other wheel, on the other side, it was pretty rusted. So uh, I wanted to clean it up a little bit. This side is not too bad, but I'll still go ahead and clean it up a little bit just cause. All right, so now that that's cleaned up pretty well, I'm gonna go ahead and install the new brake rotor. So when you install it, you just wanna make sure all the holes are lining up. Just like that. So that looks pretty good to me right there. And one thing to note, you wanna make sure it's all the way on there. You don't want it wobbly, or you don't want it kinda angled off at one way or the other. So now that that's in there, this little six millimeter Allen key you're gonna put back, or the, the screw. And literally this is the only screw that's kind of holding this in place. All right, so now that that's on there, pretty good. We can go ahead and uh, reinstall the caliper, but before we do that, obviously we're gonna put the new brake pads in. So when you're putting in new brake pads, you'll see two different brake pads, one with this mechanism on the back and one without. The one with this, this is the one that's gonna go into the piston. So let me show you what I mean by that. So when we get to it, this one right here is gonna go in this piston right here, just like that. But not until we assemble the caliper again. So let's get to that. So to reassemble it, you're just gonna put these little two things sticking out back where they went into these holes back here. So once you line up the holes, you should be able to push it all the way back. And so now that we have it like that, the brake pad with this on the back is gonna be the one that's gonna go back here. So in order to do this, you're gonna to wanna to line up these uh, brake pads with the little, the way the cutouts in the caliper. I don't know if you guys can see that, but once you line them up, you're just gonna push it straight back. And you should hear it kind of like snap in place. So once you got that one back there, you're going to reinstall the other one. And this one's pretty simple. This one's just gonna kinda sit in here, like so. Nothing should really like click or anything. It's just gonna kinda sit in there for now until we put the um, retaining clip back on. So once you have both brake pads back on, you're gonna reinstall the caliper. So you're just gonna kinda put it on there like so. And then reinstall the bolts. 
And I have found that it's actually easier to reinstall the bottom bolt first. So I'll go ahead and do that. All right, so what I'm doing now, I'm just hand tightening these bolts. And then once they're both in place, I will uh, use the ratchet to, hand to tighten them more. All right, so once you tighten those bolts, you're going to want to reinstall the brake pad sensor. So you can go ahead and plug the sensor back in right here. Okay. And pull the clips back where they were. So what you have, once you have it here, you're going to put this cord underneath here. And that will kind of keep it in place. And I'm going to have to re-spray paint these calipers because uh, all this insulation is like messing up pretty good. And you're going to plug this sensor right here in this little hole um that's where your brake pad sensor goes and it literally should just clip back into place just like that so once you have your sensor connected and you've ran all your lines back into their little clips go ahead and close this box and now we're ready to put the retaining clip back on so in order to do that are you going to do or what i find the easiest is i kind of so pretty much how it works the long arms are going to go on the outside of the calipers and these little ones are going to go on the inside of these little holes so what i find it easiest i kind of clip this little arm on the bottom of this hole right here push it so that way this long arm is making contact with the outside of the caliper right here push this one up on the outside of that and then once that's there i, I just push directly forward so that this clip can clip into the circle just like that. So once you've put your retaining clip back on the caliper and everything's nice and snug, you've done, you've tightened the bolts in the back of the caliper as well. You've placed the sensor back in the brake pad sensor, little socket area. You're good to put your wheel back on. And one thing that's really important guys, once you're done installing your new rotors and or brake pads, it's very crucial that you get in your vehicle and you pump your brakes. Uh, if you don't pump your brakes, then if you're driving and you try to hit the brakes, your brake will just go directly to the floor. So make sure if you happen to listen to anything else I've said today, listen to this. Make sure after you are done with your rotors and or brake pads, pump your brake. So that way you can fill those brake lines back up with brake fluid. Um, so that way when you go to brake, your car will actually stop. Okay, so now that I'm finished with both wheels in the front, let me show you guys what it looks like. This is the front driver's side wheel kind of hard to see through the wheels but the rotors look great and the black rotors with the red caliper really sets it off I think it looks good and on this side same thing slotted in the front big shout out to sequence they're actually the ones that got me these brake rotors at a very reasonable price um, so if you're looking to get some brake rotors whether they're slotted regular performance um, you need ceramic brake pads whatever you need hit them up I'm not sponsored or anything like that, but they do have a huge selection. So check them out. I'll leave their website where you can order your own brake pads and or brake rotors down below in the description. All right. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you had any questions on anything that I explained, um, just comment down below or hit me up on my Instagram and I'll try to answer all your questions that you guys might have. Um, I think they look great. Like I said, I wasn't able to do the rear rotors because um, the ones I got in the mail were a little bit too small to replace the rear rotors, but I'll go ahead and send them back and get the correct size. And um, let me know if you guys want me to do another video for the rear but just like that that wraps up today's video if you're not already subscribed to the channel please consider subscribing and if you like this video or it helped you out in any way uh, please give it a thumbs up that'll help me out tremendously and just like that i will see you guys with the next video peace are we gonna play now ready for the show i'm about to take down you already know get the fuck out of my face now yeah you gotta go man i'm on the chase now